One of the greatest advancements of technology is automating a process without human intervention. And automating an application is a huge task because of software bugs, which will tend to slow down the system and reduce the quality of performance. These software bugs can be easily detected using tools like Selenium, QTP, Protractor, and many more, but the most simple, free, and easy to understand tool is Selenium. Hey everybody, this is Vaishnavi from Edureka, and in today's session, we'll see how we can handle multiple windows in Selenium. But before we dig deep into the topic, let's first take a look at the agenda of this module. Okay, so we'll first start the discussion by learning about Selenium WebDriver and also take a look at a few of its major characteristics and importance. And also we'll look into the basic prerequisites that are required to run the test cases. And then we'll understand the concept of how to handle multiple windows in Selenium while testing an application. And finally, we'll also see a small demo wherein we'll understand how to handle multiple windows in a real time project. So these are the topics that we'll be covering in this session. So without any further ado, let's get straight to the module. So we'll start today's session by learning about Selenium WebDriver. Selenium WebDriver is a combination of two major projects that is Selenium version 1.0 and WebDriver. Let's see what this means. Selenium WebDriver is a collection of open source API which are used to automate the testing of a web application. You might ask what's the difference between Selenium and Selenium WebDriver? Selenium, as you all know, is a suite of tools specifically for automating web browsers. There are many flavors in Selenium and the user should know which is the appropriate tool that you need to use. Selenium suite of tools mainly consists of Selenium IDE, Selenium RC, that is remote control, Selenium WebDriver and Selenium Grid. Selenium WebDriver is basically designed to supply a well-designed object-oriented API and the test scripts can be written in any programming language like Java, C Sharp, Python, Scala, and so on. But it has only a programming interface and not an IDE. It is fast when it comes to interacting with most of the browsers like Chrome, Firefox, IE, and so on, as it directly interacts with the target element rather than interacting with the server and then pointed to the target element. So this is about Selenium WebDriver. Now let's take a look at the advantages of this WebDriver. Selenium WebDriver is an open source tool which is simple and provides a concise interface to perform testing. It is highly efficient because it can find the element on a web page using the element locators which can easily identify the web element to automate the process. It has support over dynamic web pages like Ajax and so on and also helps in the process of changing the web element by not reloading the page. So this is one of the major feature of Selenium WebDriver. It also drives the browser much efficiently and also overcomes the limitations of Selenium 1. So these are the few notable advantages of Selenium WebDriver. Now let's see what are the basic prerequisites that are required to work on Selenium WebDriver. We require the latest version of Java in our system. And we also need the latest Eclipse IDE where we'll write our test scripts and run them. And the version that I'll be using in this session is Photon. And we also require a few Selenium plugins like Selenium Standalone Server, Selenium IDE, and so on. And we also require the browser driver which helps in performing actions across different platforms. So this is about the prerequisites that are required to run the test scripts. Now let's move on and understand the core topic of this session. What is multiple window handling? Say for example, if you're working on an application and you want a particular link to open in a new window, how would you do that using Selenium? Well, I'll help you understand how to handle multiple windows in Selenium. We use the window handling function which helps in dealing with multiple windows simultaneously. So what is a window handle? and how can it help in switching to the new window. So the window handle function helps in handling multiple windows and the syntax goes something like this get dot window handle. This function helps in getting the window handle and returns the string and we also use get dot window handles which helps in getting the handles of all the windows and returns the string which is alphanumeric. And to get the details of all the window handles, we use the command called set handles, which is of the form string, and link the driver details to the window handles. 
And to switch from one window to another, we use the switch to command which helps in switching between the windows. And we also make use of actions by instantiating with the browser driver. So we are going to instantiate the new window action to the driver action. So now that you've understood what this function does and why do we need it? Let's get to the demo section of the session where we'll try to handle multiple windows at the same time. So to do that, we'll open our latest Eclipse IDE where we'll write the code to automate a website. And I'll also be giving you a few tips on how to automate the testing of web application by walking you through a few simple programs. Okay, so let's get to the demo section. Okay, let's open our latest Eclipse IDE. Launch the workspace. So this is our Eclipse IDE workspace. And in this session, I've already written a few programs so that you can easily understand and follow my instructions. So I've already created a project here. You can see it's a Selenium multiple windows. I'll just click on the drop down of it. As you can see, the Java libraries are included in it and the source file exists under which we are going to write our piece of code and the reference libraries under which the Selenium libraries are configured and the test ng libraries and the Selenium multiple windows where our class path and project path reside and the test output contains the target values. So this is about the structure of this project. So I'm just going to click on the source file and I've already created a package called Selenium under which I've written a few programs which are very simple and easy to understand guys. So let's start by understanding our first demo. Okay, I'm just going to click on it. As you can see, it comes under the package Selenium. I think more get more visible to you guys. Okay, as you can see, it comes under the package called Selenium. I have named the class as demo one under which our main class resides. And the first thing you need to do when you're working on Selenium is set the browser driver. So in this case, I'm going to use the Chrome driver as my browser driver. So I'm going to set the system property to the browser driver that is webdriver.chrome.driver and also specify the path in which the Chrome driver resides. So in my case, it is in the D drive. So I'm going to write D followed by the extension Chrome driver.exe, which should be an executable file. And I'll also instantiate the web driver and create an object of the same and instantiate with the new Chrome driver. This might throw an error saying Chrome driver is not resolved to a type. Just click on the Chrome driver and you'll find an option called import Chrome driver instances. That means you need to import the Chrome driver packages to our project. The same goes with the web driver as well. So after instantiating the Chrome driver, we need to get the URL of the particular web page that we are going to automate. So driver dot get this is the URL of the particular web page that we are going to perform the actions on. Okay, that is tools SQA automation. So first let's click on the URL. Just go to Google. Okay. So you can see that this particular website is only for demos and it says automation practice switch windows. Okay, so just click on this. So you can see that the new window is being created here. A new message window. All right, let's close this. A new browser tab so it opens in a new tab okay so let's automate this process by using selenium so let's go back to our code after we get the url of the web page we need to find the web element called click element on the page and this can be done using the element locators in selenium so we're going to find them using the id okay let's go back to our web page okay so we're going to inspect this so you can see that the ID is present here, which says button one. So I'm going to just copy this and paste it in our code. Let's go back to our workspace. Okay, you can see that the ID is already present. So this particular click element helps in opening only one window. So we need multiple windows to handle. So we are going to use for loop to do that. For int i is equal to zero and i less than three and i plus plus under which we are going to click click element. And then we are going to pause the execution for three seconds using sleep command that is thread dot sleep, which is in the form of milliseconds. So let's execute this process and check what happens. One. Two. Three. All right, guys, three child windows were created using this code. 
Okay, so I'm just going to close this child windows here one two and three. So four windows were opened and automated using this process. You can see that there is no such testing or automation taking place in this process because the website itself deals with switching the windows. So this is how you deal with a website whose sole intention is to switch the windows. I think this is the most easiest one I can say and we'll try to customize the application a bit more. I think you could figure out that we did nothing except just clicking the browser window there. It just opened twice or thrice. That's all. So what if you want to customize the child window and the parent window? So let's take a look at the second program. Okay, even this comes under the package selenium and I'm going to name this class as demo two under which our main class resides. I'm going to set the system property to the Chrome driver and specify the path and instantiate the web driver to the new Chrome driver and also get the URL of the web page that we are going to perform the actions on. So this is a web page. It's the same URL and in this program we are going to use the get window handle function. Okay, so to do that I'm going to call the string function parent window handle and link the driver to the get window handle function. Okay, so this command helps in getting the parent window handle by linking the driver that is the Chrome driver to the parent window. And after this we are going to print the parent window handle that is the ID of the parent window handle because each window handle has a unique ID. So the parent window handle ID will be printed here and after this we are going to click the web element called click element the same that we did in the previous program as well and find the element using the element locator ID and specify the ID here. Okay. And after this the same process repeats here. We want three child windows to be open. So to do that we are going to use the for loop under which we are going to click the element that is click element and pause the execution for three seconds. So what's so special about this? This is almost similar to what we saw in the first demo. But the thing about this program is we are going to get the handle IDs of all the windows that are opened. We are going to set all window handles which is of the form string and link the driver to get the details of all window handles using get window handles. So there is a difference between get window handle and get window handles guys. Get window handle helps in getting the details of the particular window whereas get window handles help in getting the details of all the windows that are open. So we are going to link the driver with the details of all the windows by using this command called driver dot get window handles and after this is done we need to print the window handles of all the windows present one by one. So to do that we are going to use for loop for string handle all window handles we are going to print the window handle of each of them by using this command. All right so this is the program. Let's save it and I'm going to run it. One. Two. And three. Okay you can see the three child windows are open here. I'm going to close this. I think I make it more clear to you guys. So you can see that the parents window handle is present here which says CD window followed by uh, the unique ID and the first window handle has the same ID as that of parents window handle. That is the first window handle and the parent windows handle are one and the same and after that it is followed by three windows that we opened and you can see that each of them have unique identification code. So this is about the execution of our second program. Now let's move on to understand what exactly happens in the third one. So this comes under the same package selenium and I'm going to name this class as demo three under which our main class resides and I'm going to set the system property to the Chrome driver and specify the path in which it resides and then instantiate the driver instance to the new Chrome driver and this command is something new right. So what does JavaScript executor do? This JavaScript executor is an interface that helps in executing the JavaScript through the Selenium web driver. Okay, so we are going to use the JavaScript executor in this program and then we are going to get the URL of the web page and in this case I'm going to consider the web page Edureka community. So it says edureka.co slash community 
and then we are going to declare the main web which is of the form string and link the driver to get the detail of the window handle that is the parent window handle and then we are going to find the element using this command driver dot find element by xpath so xpath is one of the element locators in selenium and the location is denoted something like this so this is how the xpath element locator works so once you find the element using xpath we are going to send keys to that particular location that is shift and enter which are the keyboard functions that is shift and enter and after this is done we are going to pause the execution for two seconds and then we are going to use the javascript executor command here use the object of the javascript executor js dot execute script and we are going to scroll through the window so this scroll by function works according to the axis the x axis is specified first and then y axis so if you want to scroll through a page horizontally you can use the x axis and if you want to scroll down through a page you can use the y axis so i'm going to scroll down through a page so i'm going to consider the x axis to be 0 and the y axis is 400 and after scrolling we need to pause the execution for two seconds so that you can see that the window actually scrolled okay and once you're done scrolling down through a page we need to get the details of all the windows that are present here and after this is done i'm going to set the window functions to a command called set under which i'm going to link the driver with the window handle function that is get window handles which helps in getting the details of all windows that are open and once we're done with that we are going to print the set that we declared here okay so printing this set it will help us get the details of all the windows that are currently open and after this i'm going to use the iterator function which enables the programmer to transfer a container particularly the lists it is provided via the containers interface okay so i'm going to use the iterator operation here which is of the form string and then I'm going to set the iterator. That is, I'm going to link the window handles of all the windows with the iterator. And then I'm going to use the while loop to specify if it is a parent window or the child window on which we are going to perform actions. Okay, while the iterator has next, under which we are going to scroll down through the page using the JavaScript executor, that is js.execute script, and we are going to scroll down through a page by the y axis. Okay, and after this, I'm going to declare the child, which is of the form string, and iterate it to the next. And after this, I'm going to use the if condition here. While the main web, that is the parent window, equals the child, driver dot switch to window child. So I'm going to switch to the window child. So you can see that there are only two windows that are currently open. All right. And after this, I'm going to print a particular command here that is driver dot switch to window child. That is it prints the child window and gets the title of the child window. So this is how you print the title of the child window. And after this is done, we are going to close the child window and also we'll close the main window that is main web using driver dot switch to dot window main web. OK, let's see how this works. I'm going to save this program and run it okay the chrome driver is opening okay it has to first open the community page yep and opens a new window it is edureka.co goes back to our first page and scrolls down and gets the title of the child window i'll make it more clear to you guys okay so the window id of the first that is the parent window is specified here and the ID of the second window, that is the child window, is also specified, followed by the title of the child window. Okay, so this is how you switch between two windows and perform actions while the web driver is connected to both these windows. Okay, I hope this was clear to you guys. Now let's move on to understand our fourth demo. So these are all very simple and easy to understand programs, guys. So not to worry about. So this is also the same. It comes under the package Selenium under which I'm going to create a class and name it demo for and under which our main class resides. And first I'm going to set the system property to our uh, web driver that is Chrome driver and specify the path followed by the executable Chrome driver dot exe. And then I'm going to instantiate the web driver to the new Chrome driver 
and get the URL of the particular web page on which we are going to perform the actions. And after this, I'm going to create the parent window handle, which is of the form string and link it to the driver to get the window handle of the particular parent window, which is linked to the driver that is Chrome driver. And after this, I'm going to print the parent window handle. Okay. And then we are going to search for an element on the web page. This is the same website on which we worked on in our first two demos. So I think you guys are clear with this particular website, which is basically used for switching between the windows. Okay, so we are going to search this click element on the web page by using the element locator ID and specify the ID here. And after this, we want three child windows to be open apart from the parent window. So I'm going to use the for loop to do that where I'm going to click the particular element called click element on the web page and then pause the execution for three seconds so that there exists a three seconds pause between the clicks and after this I'm going to set the all window handles which is of the form string to get the handles of all the windows that are open and I'm going to link that with the driver that is the Chrome driver. Okay, so this command helps in getting the details of all the current windows that are opened and after this I'm going to print a few commands here so that you get the details of all the windows in a proper form. I'm going to use the for loop to do that under which the handle which is of the form string is linked to the all window handles and gets the window handles of all the current windows that is open under which I'm going to print switching to the window and print the first handle that is the parent window handle and after this I'm going to print navigating to google.com and after this I'm going to switch the driver to the first handle that is the first window handle or the parent handle using this command driver dot switch to dot window handle. So this helps in switching to the first window that is the parent window and after this I'm going to get the URL of the page that we want to navigate it to. So that is the Google dot com. So I'm going to get the URL of this. Okay, so this is the program guys. Now let's save it and run it. Okay, so it must first open the application. Okay, and then opens three child windows. Two and three. Okay, so three child windows are open. Now the parent window must navigate to google.com. Okay, and so does the child windows. One, two, and three. Okay, so this is how you navigate through a page using multiple windows in Selenium. I'm going to close this one, two, and three. So the first parent window handle is specified here and like I mentioned the first window handle is same as the parent window handle. So it is going to be the same ID and navigating it to google.com. It gives the ID of the first window that is opened and then the second one and the third one. So these are the child windows that were opened and it navigated to google.com. Okay, so this is how you link the parent window and the child window using Selenium. Okay. Now let's move on to the fifth demo. Now this demo is almost similar to what we looked in our previous demo. So this program comes under the package Selenium and I'm going to name the class as demo file under which our main class resides. And I'm going to set the system property to the web driver that is Chrome driver and specify the path in which the Chrome driver resides. And then I'm going to instantiate the web driver with the new Chrome driver and also get the URL of the web page on which I have to perform the actions. So this is the same website I'm going to use. So first I'm going to get the window handle of the parent window using this command that is string parent window handle is equal to driver dot get window handle. So that is I'm going to link the Chrome driver to get the window handle of the parent window and after this I'm going to print the parent window handle using this command. And after this, I'm going to create a web element called click element and find this element on a web page using the element locators in Selenium that is ID and specify the ID. And after this, I'm going to use the for loop to specify how many child windows I need. So I'm going to need three child windows. And while this is executing, I'm going to click the web element called click element and pause the execution for three seconds. So that you can clearly see the child windows there and after this I need the details of all the window handles that are present. So to do that I'm going to use this particular command called set string all window handles 
and link the driver to get the window handles of all the windows that are opened. After this, I'm going to specify the last window handle and initialize it with the string. And after this, we are going to print the handles of all the windows one by one. So to do that, I'm going to use the for loop where I'm going to specify the window handles of all the windows and the parent window. So first I'm going to print the window handle of the parent window and then I'm going to print navigating to google.com. It is almost same as that of the previous one. And after this, I'm going to switch to the first window that is the parent window and then we'll get the URL google.com. So this URL is opened in the parent window and then I'm going to assign this last window handle to the current window handle. That is the one that is currently open. And after this, I'm going to switch to the parent handle using this command called driver dot switch to dot window parent window handle. And once you switch to the parent window handle, we are going to close this parent window handle using driver dot close command. And once you close the parent window, we are going to switch to the last window handle using driver dot switch to dot window last window handle. And once you get to the last window, we are going to pass the URL of the web page here using driver dot get command. And this particular website will be open only in the last window. Okay, now let's see how this is done. I'm going to save this and run the program. Okay. So it will first create three windows that is three child windows. The first one. The second one. And the third one. After this it navigates to the Google page and so does the child classes. And it closes the parent window and the last window will open this particular link doll tool SQA. Now I'll close this last window here. You can see that this is the only page which has this particular website. The other one will be the Google page. All right. So you can see that the google.com is open in this page as well as in this page. Okay, so this is how you can navigate through a page using Selenium and also control the actions of the child window with respect to the parent window. So this is all the ones that we wanted to be printed. Okay. So this is how you switch between multiple windows in Selenium. So let's move on to our next program here. In this program, I'm going to automate a web page called Nokri.com. Let's see how you can handle multiple windows in this application. Even this comes under the package called Selenium and I'm going to create a class called multiple window class and I'm going to use the annotation in this method. This test annotation tells the J unit that the public void method is attached and can be run as a test case. Okay, so this is the feature of the annotation test under which I'm going to create a function called test multiple windows and I'm going to set the system property to the Chrome driver and specify the path in which the Chrome driver resides followed by the executable file that is Chrome driver dot exe. After that, I'm going to instantiate the web driver to the new Chrome driver and also I'll maximize the web page using this command driver dot manage dot window dot maximize. So this particular command helps in maximizing the web page and after this I'm going to get the URL of the web page that is Nokri dot com and after this I'm going to create a function for the main window which is of the form string and get the window handle of the main window. And then I'm going to create a set under which the window handles of all the windows are saved using this command called set string and the object is string and link the driver to get the window handles of all the windows. Okay. And after this, we are going to use the iterator function, which is of the form string and we are going to link the set to the iterator function. And after this, I'm going to use the while loop where if the iterator has next, where I'm going to create a child window whose iteration is specified as next. Okay, and then I'm going to use the if command to compare if the main window is not equal to the child window. So if main window equals child window, we are going to switch to the child window using this command called driver dot switch to dot window child window. And then I'm going to print the title of the child window using this command here. Okay, so it is the same that is driver dot switch to dot window child window dot get title which helps in getting the title of the child window 
and once you get the title of the child window we are going to close this driver function using driver dot close. So all the driver actions that are happening are closed using this command driver dot close. And after this we are going to switch back to our main window using this command driver dot switch to dot window main window. OK, so this is our program. So let's run it. Maximizes the page opens knockery.com. You can see that three pages are created here. Closes Yep, all the child window closes. OK, this is the process guys. So you can see that the title of each of the child window is printed here. So this is how we automated the web page knockery.com. Now let's move on to our last program that is selenium. Let's see what happens here. Even this program comes under the package called selenium and I've named this class as selenium under which our main function resides. So first I'm going to set the system property to the Chrome driver and then specify the path in which the Chrome driver resides and then I'm going to instantiate the web driver to the new Chrome driver and get the URL of the page that we are searching. So first we are going to get the title of the web page so that can be done using this command that is string title driver dot get title. OK, so it links the Chrome driver to get the title and then we are going to print the title of the web page and after this I'm going to use the JavaScript executor which is an interface that helps in executing the JavaScript through the selenium web driver. So I'm going to use the JavaScript executor and link it with the driver using this command that is JavaScript executor driver and then I'm going to find the element on the web page using the element locators in selenium that is the CSS selector in this case. Let's take a look at the web page guys. So I'm going to take edureka edureka dot co. So I'm going to search for this particular search box here. So I'm going to inspect this. OK, you can see that the ID is present here, which is a CSS selector. So I'm going to use the crow path in this case. So you can see that the CSS selector of this particular element is specified here. So I'm just going to copy this CSS selector. CSS selector basically deals with the ID. So if there is an ID present here in the element locators, you can use a CSS selector so that it will be easy to find the element using the ID. So I'm just going to copy this CSS selector and go back to our project. OK, so the CSS selector always starts with a hash followed by the ID that was copied. So this is how you represent a CSS selector in Selenium guys. Now we are going to send keys to the element location that is Selenium certification course. And after that I'm going to pause the execution for three seconds using the sleep command. So I'm going to scroll down through a page using the JavaScript executor and the function window dot scroll by by specifying the axis in which it should scroll. So I'm going to consider the y axis in this case. So the x axis is zero and I'm going to pause the execution for three seconds after the scroll and then we need to click the search icon that is present here. So let's go back to our web page. So we need to find this particular search icon on the web page. So to do that I'm going to inspect the page and find the X path of this location. As you can see it is under this pan and class is mentioned here. So I'm going to copy this class and click control F so that you get the text box there and X path always starts with two consecutive slashes. So I'm going to use the slashes and specify the span where that is the annotation followed by a bracket and the class is equal to the value of the class that is the type head underscore button and close the bracket. It is single quoted guys and just copy this command and go back to our project. OK, you can see that this is already present here. The X path is specified here and we are going to click that location. That is we are going to click the search icon and then we are going to find the web element called link using the element locators in Selenium that is X path. Let's get back to our web page. And I'm going to search for this course here. OK, so I'm just going to right click and inspect this element. OK, you can see that it is a link 
all courses data location. So I'm going to find the crow path of this first. So I'm going to use the relative path in this case. So you can see that there is no ID present in this case to use the CSS locator. So I'm going to consider the relative path and copy the relative path and go back to our project. As you can see, the location is already present here. That is the relative X path is already present. Okay, this is the relative X path that we copied. And after this, I'm going to perform some actions on the new window. So to perform some actions, I'm going to consider the new window and instantiate it with the new actions of the driver. That is our Chrome driver. And after this, I'm going to consider the new window keys down. That is, it refers to the keyboard function keys down shift key and click on the link that is provided. That is the course link that we provided. And key up is a keyboard function, which means releasing the key function. OK, so in that I'm going to release the key function of the shift and I'm going to build the process and perform the action. So these particular commands help in opening up the new window. And after this, I'm going to pause the execution for three seconds so that you can see that the new window is created. And after this, I'm going to use the set windows to get the details of all the windows that are currently opened using this driver dot get window handles. And after this, we are going to print the set of windows here. That is the unique identification ID of all the windows. In order to know where exactly the error occurs, we are going to print a few commands here. Say A1, A2 here after getting the title and then B1. So these are for a reference to know where exactly the error occurs. OK, and after this, I'm going to use the set command to set the child windows here out of which I'm going to use the switch to command to switch from the parent window to the current window. OK, and after this, I'm going to use the if condition. Say if the title of the web page contains this, that is the best training and certification courses for professionals, that is Edureka. We are going to scroll down the page using the JavaScript executor and we are going to use the window scroll by command where we are going to scroll down through a page using the Y axis and we are going to pause the execution for three seconds and we are going to find the element using this command driver dot find element by X path, which is an element locator in selenium and specify the location in which the web element is present. So this is the location of the all course. And we are going to click on it. And after this is done, we are going to set the window position to a new position. OK, so that can be done using driver dot manage dot window dot set position new point. That is it specifies the axis in which we want our new position to be there. So in this case, I'm going to consider the X axis and I'm not going to consider the Y axis because we want our new position to be set in the X axis. That is minus 2000 that will almost be to our left. So this is where we want our new window to be there. And after this, I'm going to pause the execution for three seconds. I'm going to get the details of all the windows that are currently open using this command set windows one, which is of the form string and link the driver to get the details of all the windows. And once this is done, we are going to print the window handle of the first window that is window one. And after this is done, we are going to switch to our first window using this command driver dot switch to dot window window. So this command helps in switching to the first window and also we will scroll down through the current window using this JavaScript executor command. So we are going to scroll by the Y axis specifying the axis that is 400 and then we are going to quit the driver execution. OK, now let's save this and execute the program. First, it must open the Edureka website that is edureka.co and then search for the search box here and send keys to it. That is Selenium certification course and click on the search icon. Opens the next window and scrolls down and opens the Selenium certification course training. So this is how you handle multiple windows in Selenium guys where you can keep the parent window static and perform actions on the child window and vice versa. So this is everything you need to know about how to handle multiple windows in Selenium guys. So if you want to learn more about Selenium WebDriver, don't forget to take a look at the Edureka's YouTube channel 
and check out selenium playlist thank you for watching this video happy learning i hope you have enjoyed listening to this video please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to edureka channel to learn more happy learning